I was scrolling through my Facebook feed when I stumbled across an Everyday Feminism article titled, Four Ways White People Can Process Their Emotions Without Bringing the White Tears. Written by black women, the article uses the words person of color and black interchangeably, and I'm not sure if the author was aware when she wrote this, but I too am a person of color. Despite my mother's best efforts to keep me out of the sun, I am not white, and when the only color you see is the shade of drying ink on my poems, you are committing me to erasure. The same people who say, Racism against white people isn't possible, never said anything about erasing the existence of other minorities, so you white us out of this story. We are footnotes, afterthought. The kid on the playground your mother forces you to play with. Speaking of childhood, when I was a kid, my favorite game was hide and seek. I would always win because no one ever found me, so they just stopped trying. Now, 20 years later, I feel like I still haven't come out of hiding. According to Wikipedia, because a Asian Americans total about 5.6% of the entire US population, diversity within the group is often overlooked by media treatment. In this game of hide and seek, they have stopped seeking us out. When casting calls for diversity come around, they mistake our weakness in numbers as a white flag, Emma Stone in Aloha, Tilda Swinton in Doctor Strange, and let's not even talk about that autobiographical Bruce Lee film starring a white man as the lead. We are all Bruce Lee. And it's hard to rejoice over small victories like being a motherfucking badass when in the best of times, <laughs> no one cares about your legacy. To all the people of color who think person of color means black, they never wanted us either. Like you, the flesh-colored crayons don't capture the range of our skin tones, yet despite our shared suffering, we are too light and model enough to be a real minority, so we stand third party in other, an invisible observer in these black and white pictures. Perhaps the reason I write is to shade myself into existence draw myself into immortality. When I was a kid, my favorite drawing utensil was color pencils. Their name is deceptive. You think color pencils must be just like regular pencils, only colorful, but color pencils don't erase. No matter how hard you scrub their pigment into oblivions, color pencils do not erase. I do not erase. And to all the people of color who think person of color means black, I am a person of color, and I will not be erased. All right, judges, judges, what have you? I know that one, you took a little time to process it. I see one. Word. That? All right, so from a low to high, we have an eight.